viewing the sensors in the temperature control lab. These are the uh, little thermistors that are right here that are sensing the temperature. We're going to talk about how they work and then uh, some of the sensor characteristics. So um, sensors in automation, you'll see, you know, for example, this is, uh, you know, many, these are many sensors that are coming in, uh, signals that are coming from devices that are being processed on these, uh, these units and then give a digital signal uh, so that control can happen or that they can be displayed on a screen. So in typical chemical plants or refineries, there are thousands or uh, hundreds of, of different sensors that are measuring things like pressure, temperature, concentration. We're just going to be talking about temperature today, in particular thermistors, uh, the TMP36 um, sensor that we use on the temperature control lab. Now if you select this link in the description below the video, then you'll see some more information uh, and the source code for this assignment. Uh, we're going to go through these questions right here. What is the gain zero and span of the TMP36 thermistor? And uh, using some of this information here, we're going to determine what the millivolt signal is, as well as what is the temperature with a given voltage signal. All right. Um, and there's some additional information here. Some of it is not required. It's just for for your additional information. If you'd like to dig a little bit uh, deeper, this is what's running on the Arduino device, some of the firmware. And there's a link here that you can select if you want to upload custom firmware on your Arduino. Just some instructions in the video. All right, here's the schematic diagram. So we have this uh, temperature sensor. Actually, I'm going to come back over. Uh, here, um, so I can write on it. All right, we have uh, this uh, TMP36 sensor. It's connected up to A0, to analog zero. And uh, this is a 10-bit. The Arduino is a 10-bit analog to digital converter, or ADC. So it, it uh, converts a signal that is zero to 3300 millivolts into something that is uh, 0 to 1023 as an integer. And uh, it is reading, you can read with this sensor, you can go from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius. And beyond that, you're going to start degrading some of the plastic and other things. Electronics don't do well above about 150 uh, degrees Celsius. So we're going to uh, determine with this exercise what is the gain range and span of this. Um, you know, Once it's converted uh, to the integer, we then use a formula to convert it to degrees Celsius. Let's just go up and take a look at that. Uh, here is the formula that we use. So millivolts into degrees Celsius. And uh, just a little bit of information about the accuracy. It's plus or minus 1 degree Celsius at 25 degrees Celsius and plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius over the entire range. So these sensors don't need calibration. Um, they are thermistors or transistors that are, have a temperature effect. And they return a different um, millivolt based on the temperature. So first of all, let's ask the question, what is the gain, zero, and span of the TMP36? Well, the zero is going to be the lowest temperature that it can read. So there is our zero. OK, our span is going to be between negative 40 to 150, or we have a total range of 190 degrees Celsius that we can read. Now the gain. Um, We've got to figure out uh, what millivolts correspond to negative 40 and 150 in order to be able to get our gain. So if we rearrange this equation right here into millivolts, then we're going to get um, millivolts equals, and that is going to be temperature plus 50 times uh, 10. Okay, There's our formula to convert temperature into millivolts. So if we 
I uh, have negative 40 right here. That's going to be 100 millivolts. And if here, instead of negative 40, we put in 150, then that is going to be 2,000 millivolts. All right, so to come up with our gain, we'll do Km, and that is going to be the uh, 2,000 millivolts minus 100 millivolts divided by and then the the what corresponds to that it'll be 150 degrees C minus negative 40 degrees C and so that is going to be 10 and don't forget the units on here millivolts per degree C all right there is our gain and let me just show how this fits into the overall block diagram as we're talking about this. Um, we have, for example, in a control system, we have a set point, and then we compare uh, something that is a PV uh, to the set point, and then that goes to a PID controller. All right, that might uh, go to a valve or an actuator of some sort. So instead of a valve, I'll just put uh, actuator. And then our system. And that produces uh, the new PV value. Then we have our measurement, our sensor. And so this PV value is different than this one. In what way? Um, this one is degrees Celsius. And this one is going to be in millivolts. So it's a temperature, but it's in millivolt units. OK, and then when we have our set point, if that's the case, we give a set point in degrees Celsius. But we'll convert that um, with this Km value into a set point that's in millivolts. Okay, and then we'll compare those, and then our error is in millivolts, and then um, what comes out of the PID is going to be a percent uh, heater, and then uh, and so on. So the cycles uh, through. Now, one of the things we do sometimes with digital control systems is we just, you know, we convert to degrees Celsius, but it's a digital number, uh, degree C digital. And so we can just forget the millivolts, and that Km would just be a 1. Uh, basically, you have your analog signal, that is the actual temperature, and you're just converting it to a digital signal. All right, let's go and just take a look at some of the, uh, this is the tclab.ino. This is the uh, firmware that's running on the Arduino. You can see we've picked out the pins. And then I just wanted to show you where the temperature is actually being read. Uh, we read the temperature actually 10 times. Every time you request a T1, it cycles through this for loop and is equal to 10. And it's going to read the 0 to 1023. It converts it into millivolts. And then we use that correlation that we just discussed. It sums it up. And at the very end, it divides by 10. And then we send it over the USB serial connection so that Python can read it. So let's just look at what Python's doing. All right, if I come down in here, when I request a T1, uh, I, need, I think I went past it. All right, so here it is. It just goes and uh, request T1, self.read T1, and converts that to a floating point number and then returns it back to your Python script. So that's how the firmware works. This is like C, C++ code, and then you have your Python code. So let's answer the remainder of the questions now. Um, here in the problem statement, actually I'll come back here to, um, okay, so what millivolt signal corresponds to 25 degrees Celsius? I'm just going to create a program here that's going to help us answer some of these questions. 
Uh, but what I'll do is first of all just define a function. This is going to be our temperature as a function of millivolts and we'll return 0 0.1 times millivolt minus 50. And then we'll do another one which is going to be millivolt uh, temperature to millivolts. And we'll do temperature and we'll return temperature uh, plus 50 times 10. And just so we can see numbers that don't have a lot of decimals on them, I'll go ahead and round it off to one decimal for the temperature and I'll round it off to two decimals for the millivolts. Alright, so let's print our millivolt signal at 25 degrees Celsius. Convert that to a string and we'll just put in 25 uh, degrees Celsius and convert that to millivolts. Here's 80. Alright, and then temperature at 0 0.5 volts. It's a little bit tricky because I gave it to you in volts. It should be in millivolts. So I'll do, let's do 0 0.5 times 1000 print that and then also at 1.2 volts. Now let's do the final one is print the current temperature for T1 and T2 in Celsius and millivolts. Alright, let's import TC Lab. We'll connect to it. We'll get our T1 and T2. And we'll also get our millivolt. And I could have used the function uh, for that instead. And there is temperature 1 in degrees Celsius, temperature 2 degrees Celsius, and then there's millivolts and millivolts. And then we'll close the lab. So let's run this and just get our current values. All right, I'll put this over here just so we can keep the questions up. And let's see if this script will help us answer our questions. All right, and I'll open the one that we were just editing in IDLE so I can run it. All right, it's opening a connection, but we have some of the other answers here. Here's the millivolt signal at 25 is 750 millivolts. At 80 degrees, it's 1300. And then the temperature at 0 0.5 volts is going to be 0 uh, degrees Celsius. And the temperature at 1.2 volts is going to be 70 degrees Celsius. And right now, the temperature 1 is 18 degrees Celsius, which is 680 millivolts. And temperature 2 is 18.32 degrees Celsius with 683 millivolts.